Good morning, folks. And as you can probably tell, maybe do that a little bit. It's a bit windy. <laughs> Got blue sky today, which means we can do stuff to the van. So, albeit it's very, very, very windy outside, there is no forecast of rain. Obviously, I've explained that that doesn't always mean that there'll be no rain. Um, but yeah, I am today hoping to start fitting the windows. Oh yeah. So yeah, I've got all my tools out, my little workbench, um, my circ saw, everything else. I'm just going to get the window out, I'm going to measure. So I need to cut some timber up, make a frame, and then fit the frame around it. Perfecto. We should know this folks, shouldn't we? Because it's 900 by 450. But you know, I'm checking it anyway. And here's a hint for you, even though this isn't a how to video. Uh, whatever tape measure you measure with, only ever use that again because there are discrepancies between each tape measure. <laughs> like a glove. Hopefully that then screws into the frame. So if I sit there, that might, ooh, that might be my seat. So therefore, if I have the window like that, maybe the higher up, the better. So yeah, if I have it like low down and I'm sitting there, I might cut off my view halfway. So I've measured where the top of the frame is going to sit. That's the inner edge of the top of the frame. So the actual outer edge of the top of the frame just sits underneath there. So it doesn't clash with there. Um, but it does mean then I can route out or cut out that shape in the frame so it sits flush with this surface and um, not with that rather than cutting that away which um, yeah that troubles me some so we're happy then yes that that is the center point yes so drill our hole there go to the outside and then I'll tape and measure and then you can come and verify yes is that right yes cool what's the matter <laughs> uh just flashbacks and nerves that's all yeah Tell me about it. I bet. Yeah, rain stop play, folks. Big black clouds are coming over, and the forecast now says rain possible for the next hour. So um, not a cat in hell's chance. I'm going to start cutting holes in my van. Um, so it's time to go and get um, that delicacy that is um, a peanut butter and Nutella banana wrap. I checked all this I, in excess of 100 times now. So now it's Mandy's turn. But as you can see, the weather is still looking really dodgy. So the only thing I can say is, hopefully, if we don't go for it today, that the marker pen doesn't wash off in the rain. That's fine. Yeah? Yep. All right, got the go-ahead then. Let's cut. <laughs> That's how you install the window, folks. I'm sorry, John, I can't hear you through the window that fits perfectly. You have a hole in the van for a window and the window fits correctly. Just waiting for uh, the paint to dry around the edge of the window frame, the metal frame anyway. Um, I have now cut out the little notches, so as you can see there, top and bottom. Um, so that'll go around the little cutouts that I went through the support structures in the frame. So that'll fit around that. Um, like I say, then I need to uh, fix the frame on, pop the window through, obviously with all the sicker flex and everything else on there. There we go, folks. The van has a window. Yay! Yay! Teamwork. Teamwork, baby. And there we are on the inside. So hopefully now all my really bad descriptions of how it works make sense. 
So you might be asking why I bonded or why I glued that to there. Um, and that's just to give that panel rigidity. Um, so rather than relying on the seal around the actual window for rigidity, it's now got the seal on the outside and this sealed against the inside. Um, and then obviously that is going to be perfectly tight. And as luck would have it, it started to rain again. Uh, gotta love this building outside, haven't you? Good morning, folks. Day two in the window install. Rained last night, obviously it rained as soon as we installed the windows, but the window is totally dry. No leaks on the inside. Um, yeah, seals perfectly. So well happy with that one. Uh, so I've got started on the, uh, the little window that's going into that back side there. Um, why am I installing it on that side or not that side? Or why am I only installing one? Good questions. Uh, I'm installing it on that side because I intend to sleep against this side um, because that's going to be the open side of the van. So when I'm sleeping, I'll be able to see everything in the van. Whereas on this side behind me, um, whilst the bed's going to be there, there is going to be a toilet, uh, which will obscure the view. So it means I won't be able to see down the side of the van. Now, obviously, on certain times where parking is a bit iffy and I can't get exactly level, um, I'll be flipping around and going the other way. So that's fair enough. Uh, the secondary reason why I've chose that is for security, because on the back door on this side, I'm having the Fiamma ladder, just like I had on my last, last van. So this one is 550 by 450 or something like that, 500 by 450 or something like that. I do know the measurements, by the way. I'm not going to cock it up. I just can't remember them. So albeit it's the same manufacturer, um, same window type roughly on that side, uh, the fixings are far different. So now you've got these caps, rather than the little metal pieces that just went across now and again, now you've got this cap. They screw into the recessed holes there. That sits over there um, and then clasps again to sandwich the frame from the outside to the inside, frame in, center point in, same as yesterday, drill through, transpose the measurements over. So there we go, I've notched out that corner. So just setting the frame on the inside. And as you can see, that frame where I notched it out, sitting there nice and snug. And there we go, second window's in and just before the weather turns as well. So yeah, just like it's been doing every day, it'll probably now rain. Now it's time to tidy up. The battle is real, literally. Just finished cleaning up, finished hoovering while blowing out the van. <laughs> Honestly, you just couldn't make this up. Third window, third day I've had this. Um, Beautiful weather today though, and the forecast today is absolutely stunning. So I've got my frame for the window. Uh, this window on this side is the same as the one on the sliding door. The biggest thing I've got on this one is that this strut is much bigger and quite a different kind of makeup uh, than the one in the sliding door. So the panel's become a little bit debonded from this strut. So I should be able to quite easily separate that. Um, and it looks like it's only tacked in there and there. And then same again at the bottom. So it looks like it's far easier to remove that than the one on the other side. And there we go. Window number three. All the windows are now in. And um, what an experience that was. Would I do it again? Would I choose bonded windows next time? Knowing that it's so much easier I'm not being funny, but yeah, bonded windows, cut a big hole, get your bonded window, put a rock of, load a ton of glue all the way around it, stick it on, put tape around it, Bob your uncle. This is the faffing of getting all the levels right. So, you know, I've got three windows. I need to make sure that all the windows are the same level inside the van. Um, so that when I'm inside, that's all right. And hopefully that transposes to outside of the van as well. Um, not only that, you're going to make sure that they're square, you know, you don't put them in skew with or something like that. And then you've got the, the way that they lock in and bond in. So an inner frame that locks around the outer window and then it all kind of like squidges in and then you've got the squidge 
all the sicker flex coming out squidging around the edges and stuff like that uh, which is obviously um yeah it needs neatening up um and there's some right now that i'm not a hundred percent happy with um but um it can wait i think i can use uh, a solvent on it later just to fine kind of smooth the edges out or whatever um but for now yeah, I've got three windows that are in. Uh, the windows all work fine. Um, they open, close, you know. The other two that I've installed, because I know it's rained so much, I know they don't leak. So happy days with that. And um, yeah, I like the look of the windows as well. I do like the fact that it's a proper caravan window. So I get insulation because it's double glazed. Um, I also get a degree of breeze that I can let in or something by putting them on vent mode as well. Um, and then obviously I can open one wide to let a draft through in, in the summer or whatever. Um, and obviously there's a degree of privacy from them as well with the dark tint. So yeah, happy with them. Um, was it worth the effort? Yeah, because I've learned how to do this. It's not like I'm an expert or anything like that. Um, it's a bit like the time I vinyl wrapped our old van. Um, I learned on the job. So this time vinyl wrap in the van, that was a breeze. And probably the next time, I um, come to install caravan windows in a van, um, it'll be a breeze again. And um, yeah, that might be coming sooner than you think as well, because I think Mandy's got the self-build bug. <laughs> so we'll have to see you on that one pans out. But yeah, the only thing I'd say is um, before you install the windows, make that frame. If we'd have made the frame um, before the fiasco of a couple of weeks ago, um, and you know, windows would have been in way before now. Um, would they be of you know the same standard of doing it on my own? I don't know. I do feel like I've spent more time um, finessing each part than perhaps would have been possible with four people around it and stuff like that. So anyway, by the by, I have my windows installed. It's time to move to the next phase. Insulation. Yeah. Oh, and doesn't everyone have an opinion on insulation? Oh, you need this and oh, you need that. <sighs> well, that's a video for next time. Thank you for watching this probably very, very, very long and boring, arduous video of me installing three simple windows in a simple camper van. I'm sure it's not been that simple, but yeah. I'll try and make it look that simple in the edit. All right, folks. See you soon. Bye.